hype really first started about Smart Grid um, 18 months ago. Uh, a lot of the meetings that we would have were of the nature of, well, when are you going to build your smart grid and when are you going to be done? The problem we see with this is that, is that smart grid really is about our fundamental business processes. The smart grid is not about hardware and it's not only about software. It's about a union of both. Nearly 75% of the utilities surveyed in the US are still not in deployment of smart grid. 75%. This is the only industry in the world that has a wait and see attitude. We believe also that uh, there is no one-size-fits-all technology to carry uh, the smart grid uh, applications. And what would be optimal in our uh, mind is that you could create a smart grid communications network out of multiple technologies, but from the sort of the 50,000-foot level, that network would look seamless. If you get into these really risk-averse situations where you're not trying anything, you never figure out what, what the answer really is. And, you know, and I, it always blows my mind that you know, we, we're, we're in at least half a dozen utility pilots that we can't talk about at all. They have to be completely confidential, and I, I don't understand that. I mean, this is an opportunity for people to really provide thought leadership. It goes back to educating you about what you have in your home and how you want to live your lifestyle, back to where utilities are starting to segment by lifestyle and by usage. It's really important that as we go into this debate, we as a vendor community specifically get together and make sure that we optimize the technology and optimize the interoperability. Now, why don't people network lights now? Well, because it turns out that interoperability is a big issue. The illumination technology of incandescent or fluorescence is hard to control. And the control system itself is actually an expensive adder to the overall system. Mike, what do you like in smart grid? You know, I, I think in the smart grid space right now, there's a lot of coverage with companies like Silver Spring on the utility side, and we think that's pretty well covered. Uh, so we're really focused on the commercial space, commercial energy efficiency. So we're looking a lot in the HVAC space now. And you have about 40% of the energy in a building is focused on lighting. There's another 40% in HVAC. I think it's really important to understand that people don't, it's very important that people have information, that, that the systems generate a tremendous amount of information, but that doesn't mean that consumers necessarily want to deal with that information on a day-to-day -day basis. One of the things that the smart grid is, is, is enabling is enormous amounts of information that um, it's going to leverage a lot more intelligent decision making by the utility, use, yeah. and for the utility, what, what's the optimal price point where people react. Yeah.